Okay, so hello to you, my name is Vlad and uh, what I will be showing you today is actually how to install Windows 10 with Windows 7 key. You can actually do it today and you can do it without turning on uh, disability and whatnot. So uh, it's actually quite easy. I actually googled for a generic uh, Windows uh, serial number and uh, I got this list, seriously. Everything ever made by Microsoft. First page, so thank you Google. Anyway, uh, there is a catch. First of all, what you need to do is download Windows image. So, let's do that. Okay, so this is not my laptop. This screen is, well, what can you do? So, let's see, download Windows 10. And this is in Croatian, but uh, you'll get the English version. It is the first link. Anyway, what you should do is scroll and choose second option, which will say in English, download tool right away, something like that. Okay, so let's save that tool. Now you don't want to use their uh, installation, but you do want to download ISO. So when you click on the tool, double click, yes. Now you should not choose uh, upgrade this PC, but what you should do is choose uh, create installation media. I'm not sure whether an upgrade uh, with Windows uh, will work because that uh, period expired. You can try it, but if it does work, you can well let me know. Anyway, you should choose create an installation media, click next. And now uh, you can uh, use these recommended settings. Now uh, I chose actually both versions because I work as an IT guy. So you can use 64 bit or 32 bit. Uh, but um, if, you only, uh, if you're only using it for yourself, I suggest you should use only 64 bit. Anyway, you should click next. And no, you do not want a USB flash drive. What you do, what you do need is actually ISO file, and you should click next. And uh, once you click next, it will begin while well, downloading. Now you can save this thing. Let's say to desktop, and uh, click save. And uh, the process shall uh, well begin now. So anyway, after this thing is finished, we need to download the tool called Rufus. So next thing, let's Google for a Rufus. And again, first link, and there is a download link. There you have it. And you should choose portable version. There is no need for it to be installed. Anyway, after you save that, Rufus. Again, I'm gonna move it to desktop. You know, in fact, I'll leave uh, these two files in the zip in the description. That way you don't even need to, well, download anything. You can just download from my server. Anyway, what you should do next is click on Rufus. Yes. Uh, do you want to know? Anyway, what you should do now is uh, click select uh, and choose the folder you've downloaded your ISO to. In my case, this is my external drive. Uh, and now you need to well insert the uh, USB drive, just a second. Now, in my case, I already have that drive, but let me show you. And as you can see, uh, we got a device. Let me zoom in a bit. Now, what you should do, select in here, is not GPT, but MBR. And this is actually the only thing you need to do. You need to click start and it will start formatting the drive and copying the files. And that is it. Now, okay, now uh, after you have finished this, you have to reboot. And there is actually one more step you need to go through. Let me reboot now and you, what you need to do is enter into BIOS setup. Now I do need to enter password. So we have entered our BIOS and what you should do next is click on boot and click on UFI, press enter and choose legacy support. Now this thing is uh, in this inside H2 BIOS, this is uh, under boot. In other BIOSes there may be under boot, under something. But anyway, what you should do is choose legacy support. And as you can see, I have a couple of legacy devices. One of them is the USB stick and uh, one of them is the uh, SSD and the DVD drive. Now I will, I will press uh, FN and uh, F6 and that way I will bring my USB to the top but there is no need for it you can press F8 you know F8 either F8 or F11 or if you have a Lenovo you need to press that uh, blue key and then I believe F12 um, but uh, and uh, F12 and uh, after I've done that I can save changes and exit exit same changes yes and now the computer will boot off of my USB stick, well, after I enter the password. So, as you can see, I have a setup of Windows and I will be choosing 64 bits. Now, uh, let's wait until this thing uh, finishes.
So I will be choosing Croatian because I am in Croatia. And after I click install now, So uh, that key did not work because I think it's blacklisted, but I do have uh, in here, as you can see, a uh, Windows 7 Pro key and I will be using it and I'll be showing you that it actually does work. Just a second. Now, as you can see, I have professionally hidden the, uh, well, the rest of the key, but if you click next, this thing should work. So again, the key and the key in here are actually, as you can see, the same. And it does actually take some time, I guess, I, am, I think it's converting it or whatnot. And there you have it. It is working and you have actually fully legal uh, Windows 10, which never expires. So I hope you found this video useful and these keys are, well, useless. I guess they're blacklisted. It kind of does make sense. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please click like. If you did not, click dislike. Uh, consider subscribing. And if you do have any questions, please let me know. And uh, again, the files will be in the description down below in the zip. And the password is, as always, 1234. So until the next time, have a great day. Or a good day. Or a normal day. Or just be happy that you woke up. Ah, whatever. Cheers.